Hello, today I'm here with a new video and for you who doesn't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I'm a cruelty-free YouTuber that talks a lot about makeup. And today I'm going to do a makeup look with my own lethal palette. I had a lethal week a month ago maybe, maybe more. And I did like palette bingos and just did looks with my lethal shades. And then I ended up with this palette and I really like how this ended up. So I'm going to use some of these shades today. I'm thinking of doing a pretty simple look and do it green and pink. So I'm going to use these two and this pink and now I think a cat wants to go in. Yes. <laughs> and I am a little bit inspired like with my nails even though it is warm watermelon on my nails but I have some pink I have some green and I have some red maybe you want to see so yeah I'm just going to do something simple and I have hair everywhere so I'm going to prime my eyes and I feel like I'm pretty up close right from the beginning you know what just have to be like that. I'm trying to be a little bit more like relaxed. <laughs> I'm at least trying. I'm trying to find like a good uh, to be in a good space with my YouTube channel because right now uh, I am not. So the thing I want to start with is take this pink shade and put it in my like inner crease and I want to have this in my inner crease here and also down under my eye so I'm going to start with that and I'm just going to see so it sets and I can write <laughs> the name of the shadows either in my description or I maybe put them in here we will see when I'm going to edit this what I have what I want to do I'm just taking this pink and I want this pretty much in here. Is this a bad angle maybe or can you see this? I always feel like this looks a little bit strange. But it's going to look better when I have all the other shades on so just just stay with me. And I'm going to go in with this green in my crease and then I'm going to take this one on my whole lid. So I'm starting with this matte one. And I don't know if you can hear the cats outside. They're playing with something. I'm actually thinking of taking a red lip to this just to have the red <laughs> from my nails as well, but we will see. Maybe I change my mind. So okay. the green, something like this, and I want to just take. Do you hear my chair? The pink, and go in a little bit easy so it doesn't look strange here where they meet. I think this is a good start. At least. And then I'm going in with Jesus, it's hair everywhere. I think it's Astrid's hairs. I'm going in with this. This is one of my favorite shades from Lethal, and I just love it so so much. So I'm just going to take this on my whole lid. And we will see if I want if I okay, what am I trying to say? I would see if I want to take something to make a little bit of a definition in my outer corners. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, this, this green. I really love lethal shades, but like their shimmer greens, I think they are my favorite. And especially this one. I don't know if it's called Vertex, but... This is definitely one of the shades that I can recommend. I'm just going in with my crease brush and take a little bit on, of my crease shade, the green one. Just go over here in the crease. 
Maybe I should take like a dark green to deepen this down. I don't have my dark green for refill on this one. But I can just take it from my other palette. I think I actually will do that. Even though I really really like this, I think I want something to define my outer crease a little bit. Outer corner. It's my outer corner. And I have a black in this one, but I think that will be like too, too harsh. So I went into my this my this palette, this palette, and I think we'll take this. I think this is Eden. I'm pretty sure. And I will just take away the cat hairs from my brush, and just dip it a little bit in Eden, and take it out here. And I do not want much at all. I just want it to be something. I think this can lay over on the shimmer really good. And it does. And I think that is everything I want to do to my lid. So I will take away the fallouts. And for my lower lash I will drag the pink down. And also I think... I'm going to take the one that I had in my crease, have it underneath my eyes. So I will take away the fallouts, fix my base, and then we do the under eyes together. So okay, I don't know about this foundation. It feels a little bit too dark. I used the serum foundation from The Ordinary. This is too dark for me, but it usually works because it's light coverage. But I think in the viewfinder, I think it looks a little bit off. Sorry about that, but I'm not going to redo my base. <laughs> so, for my lower lash, I'm going... I'm going to start with the pink one and put it in... Cat hair! Put it in my inner corner. And also, like down on my lower lash and then I go in with the green that I had in my crease so add this one and put it on the rest of my lower lash So I don't think I need to take the darker one just to deepen down this. So for my waterline, I will take Insomniac from Colourpop. This is bright, a bright pink. So and then I'm going to put on some mascara because I think I really need it. So I will fix that. Try to choose a lippy. I think actually I want to take something red, but I will. I think I want a fun bright red. I will see what I have. Maybe I will take like pink. We will see. But I will fix that and then I come back. So this is the finished look for my lips. I used a Love Alive from ColourPop and I topped it off with Cherry Gum a lip. Shine Lip Liquid from Body Shop. I don't know where to put everything. But I like this look. And it is what I imagine it to be. And I just love the pink in the inner corners. And uh, this green. It's amazing. So I'm really happy with this look. And it was fun to do something with this palette that just happened. If you haven't seen my lethal week, I just put all the shadows I have used back in this one. And I got this color story and I was like, I really like this color story. And I really like this look. So it was fun to do this. And I really hope that you like this video. And if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos. I will see when the next video will come up. I am just trying to go with the flow with my channel right now. I have decided to not have a schedule, I haven't decided like any days that I want to upload or how many I want to upload in a week. I will just go with the flow and <laughs> I hope that you will follow me in the flow. 
So yeah, I'm going to end this now and I hope that you like this look and yeah, I hope we'll see you in the next one where whenever that will be. Bye!